Hi, this is Chuck from Nerd3D. In this tutorial, we're going to go over creating photorealistic materials for use with Poser's Superfly Render Engine. To create these materials, you're going to need some photorealistic textures. You can create them yourself, or you can download them from many sources on the internet. This is an example of an internet source for the photorealistic texture maps that are necessary to create a PBR material. I've already downloaded this. Let's go over how we actually create the material in Poser. Once you have your texture maps, it's time to turn them into a material in Poser. Open up Poser's material room and select the zone that you want to work with. You'll be tempted to start creating image nodes and browsing for your materials. This is the hard way to do this. Let me show you an easier way to create all of the nodes all in one shot. Open up File Explorer, Finder if you're on a Mac, and select the textures for your material. Drag and drop them all into Poser's Material Editor. And as you can see, it creates the nodes and loads the maps for all of the materials. Before we can use these, we need to make sure that the gamma is set correctly for them. The only texture map that should have gamma correction on it is the color or albedo map. All of the rest of the maps need to have their gamma set to one. Open up each map put the dot next to custom gamma and set that value to 1. Do that for each of the maps. This is especially important for the normal map because it will not work correctly if it's gamma corrected. Now where do we plug these in? Some of these, like the roughness, there's no real place to plug this into a poser surface node. And we have a better root node to use. Since we're making a physical material, we should use the physical surface node. This root node is designed for this type of material. Create a physical node and put the check mark for both render engines on this. The physical node will work for both Superfly and Firefly. Now we can plug our maps in. The albedo map is also known as the diffuse map. That's your base colors and just plug it straight in there and set the nodes color to white so that it won't interfere with the color of your maps. The roughness texture connects to the roughness input on the physical surface root node. Roughness is similar to specularity map but not entirely. This will also cover the shininess. It is literally how rough the material is if it's been sanded or something. A height map can either be a bump map or a displacement map. In this case there's not really that much displacement going to happen. It's a very small amount, so we're going to use it as a bump map. And with those tiny little details, the model would have to be subdivided into oblivion to even see that as a displacement map. I have my units set to millimeters, so one millimeter for a bump is probably about right. And let's plug in the normal map. I'll set its height to one millimeter as well. That's all you really need to do to create a physical surface. Let's render this and see what it looks like. Ah uh, yes, this is not right. It is way, way, way too big. Either that or this is a tiny little logo. We need to adjust the size or scale of all of these images to affect the scale of our material. Now, you can go through and edit the UV scale for each one of these one by one. And if you're only going to change it once, that's probably okay. But we're going to save this material and use it in the future, and we might want to use it on something that's a different size. So we're going to create a new math node. And plug this node into every single one of those UVs. Now that only took about as long as it would take to change them once, but what we can do now is we can use this value to set the value of all of the UV scales for all of those images. Let's render it with it at one-eighth that size and see how that looks. Now that's starting to really look like leather. If we switch over to using the Firefly render engine, because the physical surface node is designed to work with both, you can see the leather looks almost exactly the same when rendered in Firefly. This is a good way to create a hybrid material that is also a physical-based material. 
Now you can create your own photographic base materials for use with Firefly and Superfly. Thanks for watching and have fun using Poser.